a mother had a toddler, right? And every 14 days, she had to buy him a toy truck. Because each time he picks it up and he throws it down. He wouldn't play with it like any normal child would, but he will pick it up and he will throw it down and that will be the end of it. So every 14 days, the mother will go off to a toy shop, $14.99, that's how much it costs, only to get home for her little boy to pick it up and to drop it back down again. And this particular time she had vowed this was her last time she was going to buy the son the $14.99 truck. So she goes to the place, she picks up the toy, in 14.99 and while she's picking up the toy she looks up there and then she sees this tonka truck tonka truck which was 49.99 instead and she thinks that's crazy i wouldn't buy a toy costing 49.99 but then there was something different about the tonka truck if you know anything about the tonka company it's made out of steel absolutely beautiful it's durable so she thought to herself am i ridiculous to buy a two-year-old a toy worth 50 pounds but either way she thought let me just give it a go she picks up the toy she goes home and she says to her little boy Here's your toy. And guess what the first thing he did? He picks up the Tonka truck, he drops it down, and guess what happens? The toy goes, hmm. He picks it up again like he couldn't believe it that it wasn't breaking. He picks it up, he throws it down, and the toy goes, hmm. Seven days go by, 14 days, a month, two months. He's doing the same thing. Picks up the Tonka truck, he throws it back down, and the toy just goes, hmm. Years went by. The toy was still fine. And now the mother is thinking, man, there's something amazing about this toy. She picks it up herself, up as high as she possibly can. She drops it down and the toy goes, hm, 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 hm. What was so different about the Tonka truck? You see, the designer of the truck made sure that no matter how many times it could be dropped, it will still work it will still be fine the bodywork was designed in a particular way that it will be possible for it to last so then i think about us as christians who is our designer you see when god designed you specifically he knew that you're going to go through some trials in your life he knew that you will go through some problems in your marriage he knew that you would go through some sorrow some trials some temptations you know every single thing that you've gone through but he made sure that he designed you like the tonga truck that you may fall but you will get back up again i'm reminded of the verse in proverbs chapter 24 verses 16. he says the righteous man may fall how many times seven times but he gets back up again so my encouragement to you today is no matter how many times life throws it storms on you get back up again my favorite saying is win is never quit and quit is never win so i just want to say to encourage you until face to face with jesus be like the tonga truck because god has designed you to stay strong no matter what you go through that that's it 40.99 tonga truck amen